Oh, hey Funahead friends, guess what? Today is the first day that we're gonna be towing the new trailer with our brand new Land Cruiser. So, let's get to it. So if you watched my last video, you would have seen that I just recently bought a 2007 Lexus LX470. Now that has, is a car that I've been wanting for a very long time because they're, in my opinion, really freaking cool. Um, but I had kind of a ulterior motive with wanting to buy that car, and that is I wanted a tow vehicle. So behind me is a brand new uh, 2022 model year 22 by 8 foot snowmobile trailer. My brother-in-law and I decided to go have these on this on this brand new trailer, which uh, is is quite the upgrade for us. And we only have two sleds actually between the two of us. However, the trailer this big, at least we can fit two more sleds to to allow our you know more friends to go with us and also in the summertime this thing being as large as it is can double as a car trailer for the porsche so today uh i'm going to tow this thing up to my brother-in-law's house where we will then drive all the way up to the up uh in his truck with his truck pulling this thing but today we'll be utilizing the land cruiser to pull this thing to his house which is about an hour and a half away from here so it'll be the first real test of the land cruiser towing Granted, the way it's loaded today is maybe 4,200 pounds or so in total trailer weight. So not too severe compared to the 6,500 pound trailer uh, towing capacity of the Land Cruiser. But, you know, still a nice test uh, for the higher mileage Land Cruiser uh, and just to see how it does. So before we get hooked up, let me uh, just give you guys a quick tour of this beautiful new trailer. Alrighty, now like I said, this is a 22 foot by 8 foot snowmobile trailer. Um, but it can, like I said, also double as a car trailer. So as you can see here in the nose is a pull in, pull out trailer, something that's very nice for snowmobiles. Being able to just have the option of pulling straight in and out or vice versa uh, is an extremely nice feature when loading up the snowmobiles. This is the inside of the trailer. Of course, I just have my, my one sled in here now because we're, I'm gonna be pulling it up to my brother-in-law's house today. I loaded it up a few days ago and I didn't want it to just be setting uh, under tension that's this whole time anyway believe it or not even it's weird seeing just the one sled in here but believe it or not you can fit four in here see here we've got the uh, little man door over here so you don't have to open up the big ramps every time you come in and out of course we've got the nice ramp out the back there which is a very nice feature um, and we did the the eight foot wide trailer as opposed to the seven foot a lot of these are seven foot wide trailers uh, for the purpose of fitting the Porsche in here and of course we've got the V nose uh, makes it kind of nicer for uh, aerodynamics when cruising down the road this is a 2017 uh, Polaris Pro S 600 switchback um, it is it's a spicy little meatball of course not nearly as fast as the 800s but it is a uh, more than enough power for trail riding, and you can have a whole heck of a lot of fun on this on this thing. This thing handles like a freaking scalpel. So I actually just rebuilt the motor in it. Uh, and this is the, the first riding trip I'll be doing with this fresh top end. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and strap this down. That way this is ready to go, and then we'll start loading up the trailer, and then we'll pick back up with the loaded up uh, the trailer hooked to the, hooked to the Land Cruiser. Alrighty, well. We got the whole rig hooked up here. Looks pretty freaking good if I do say so myself. I love that load leveling suspension on the LX470. When you first set the tongue weight on the on the uh, hitch there, it, it drops some, but then that load leveler picks it right back up and it looks really good. No sagging. I mean, it looks, it looks nice. All right, well, time to hit the road. Alrighty, this might be a completely useless video to make because it's now dusk and the sun is rapidly setting, um, but we're about mm, 50 minutes into the drive. We just finished a pretty long highway stint where we were driving consistently like 70 to 72 miles an hour. The Land Cruiser did absolutely great. LX470, sorry. It did great. And, uh, you know, this is a huge very tall trailer and very susceptible to wind um, and it's a little bit windy out right now and it it handled you know the the side gu sideways gusts just fine it's not of course as stable as as you know like a very long wheelbase uh, 
half ton truck would be. It certainly feels very good when you're towing even a, a, a large trailer like this. So anyway, so far so good. Um, <laughs> we've been we've been getting right around nine to ten miles to the gallon. Uh, so not the greatest, but not that bad compared to what it normally gets. This car on the highway, you know, would normally get in the range of 15, 16, 17 MPGs up at 75 miles an hour. And we were getting, you know, like I said, nine to 10 MPGs at 70 with the trailer. So, you know, not hateful relatively. Anyway, granted this thing is, this is a steel trailer, so it is fairly heavy. Anyway, like I said, so far so good. Right now we're maybe 25 minutes away. Um, and it's all just two lane country road from here. All righty everybody. Well, this is kind of a bit of a jump ahead, but we made it back from the up as you can see the trailer is all covered in salt the land cruiser did great towing to my brother-in-law's house and back it did an absolutely phenomenal job um, additionally i did encounter some pretty serious crosswinds specifically on the way home uh, from matt's house that's my brother-in-law it actually handled the crosswind really well i did have to keep the speed about 65 miles an hour on the highway um, but you know even with the trailer kind of getting pushed it it didn't pull the Land Cruiser around much at all. I hope it's not super loud in the microphone. It's quite windy outside right now. I apologize for any bad audio. But anyway, with that said, we're going to wrap it up today. Uh, I just wanted to make a quick video about, you know, towing with the Land Cruiser for the very first time. It did great, much approved, and a uh, video will be coming pretty soon, probably in the next month or so, once it warms up. As you can see, not so warm right now. Um, we're going to put the Porsche in there for the very first time and see how the Land Cruiser tows with that in there. So. Anyway, thank you so much as always for tuning in to Funhead TV and we will see you guys next time.